Good morning, tree lovers. I'm Joel Mizell with the Tree Planters at thetreeplanters.com. I am showcasing this morning a triple trunk ribbon palm that we planted, uh, I think it was about six weeks ago. Uh, we just got it completely untied and all the braces off of it. So I wanted to show you another video. This is actually the third or fourth video, but no video is complete until you get to see the end result, <clears throat> which is the tree when it is untied. So let me just walk around this. This is a three trunk ribbon palm. The two taller trunks are about 12, 13 feet and the smaller trunk is nine to 10 feet. You can see that the symmetry on this tree is absolutely perfect. And the good news is, is that if you like this tree, we have more of them. We have a very limited supply available. One of our growers grows these, and I think they grew about 200 of them. So if you want 10 or 15 of them, you better jump quick because they are going to disappear. When we untied this tree, the, some of the fronds got stuck up in the head and I think one of our videos showed that. So now we're here to show you what this tree looks like when it's completely untied. Excuse me for getting the sun behind the subject. You're not supposed to do that in photography. Uh, the sun is supposed to be behind the photographer. So I know that because I was a photographer in high school and college. Uh, just a little bit of vague history concerning your Joel Mizell tree expert. So once again, triple trunk ribbon palm, we can plant this for you. One of the finest trees at all because it grows slow. It has those red ringlets around the trunk of the tree. Initially, they don't stay red because that does wear off, but you can see how absolutely stunning this tree is. It's just gorgeous. We got it away from the house. We actually had to move this tree over uh, a few weeks after we planted it because once we untied it, the fronds were hitting the house. When we dug the hole for this tree, there was an electric line under the tree and we moved the tree towards the house to avoid the line. Uh, but in the end, uh, that was a crude decision, not my decision, and we reversed that decision, pulled the tree back so that it would not touch the house and just turned it into a perfect, perfect little tree for this spot. Once again, like us, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Tree Planters, and whatever you do, call us and buy a tree.